Number 81. Which compound in each of the following pairs has the larger lattice energy? And then note, Ba2 plus and K plus have similar radii, and S2 minus and Cl minus also have similar radii, and then we have to explain our choices. Okay. So we have our two ionic compounds here, potassium sulfide, which is K2S, and barium sulfide, which is BAS. Which one of these has the larger lattice energy? Now, lattice energy is the amount of energy needed to break the ionic compound and form its ions. So, let's find out what the ions are. So, K2S will break down into its two ions if I split the, ion uh, the ionic compound between potassium, which is K, and sulfur, which is S. I look on the periodic table just to see what the ions actually are. K, potassium, is in group 1, so that's a plus 1 charge. And sulfur, it's in oxygen's group, group 6A or 16, depending on what your periodic table states, and that's a negative 2 charge, or a 2 minus. Doesn't really matter how you write it. Let's do BAS as well. So barium and sulfur will completely break down into just Ba and S. Now let's put the charges. Barium is in group 2, so that's a plus 2. And sulfur, just like we said before, is a minus 2. Now, this question is asking for which one has the larger lattice energy. And things that are the same are not going to make any difference in making that amount of energy bigger or smaller. So the easy thing to do here is get rid of anything that you see that's similar. And that is the sulfurs. They're both in the same compound, so it's not going to make any difference as to making the lattice energy larger or smaller. So we're just down to focusing on K plus and Ba. Now they did state that Ba2 plus and K have very similar radii. So I'm just going to put that there. And you might be asking, well, why does that matter, right? But it matters because when you're talking about lattice energy, that energy needed to break up the ionic compound, it is heavily reliant on two properties. And one is the atomic radius. If you have a smaller atom or a smaller atomic radius, those atoms or ions are going to be closer together. And things that are closer together have a stronger bond. That's going to require a lot more energy to break it up. But since they have the same or very similar radii, I can't go off of that property. So I got to go, gotta go off of this one. That if you want to increase that lattice energy, you need to transfer, <laughs> transfer, um, you need to transfer more electrons. So transferring two electrons would increase a lattice energy over one. Three would be higher than two. And this just comes down to the, ch uh, the charges of potassium and barium. Now, I did hear you. You were screaming at me. It's like, Christina, why you said that barium was in group two? And that's exactly correct. This should be a plus two. Or else, the problem wouldn't be able to be done. Because now, let's look at what those electrons were, right? In potassium, it's a plus one charge, which means that it lost one electron. But in terms of barium, barium has a plus two charge. So it lost two electrons. And they lost it because they transferred it to the sulfur. And the more electrons that are transferred, the more the lattice energy. So whether you're losing one versus two, two is greater than one. So since you are losing two, aka you're transferring more, this is going to increase the lattice energy. So BAS would have the greater lattice energy because it just transfers more electrons than uh, K2S. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys and I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard and I will talk to you in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.